guys, this is Carl, the Racer Red Channel. Today was perfect in terms of the soil condition. There was hardly any dust whatsoever, and the traction was perfect. Conditions like this just have a way of making your bike feel like it was perfectly set up for you that day, so it was a really good ride. Some of this is pretty whooped out, but I was able to find good rhythm through it. The suspension was working excellent. And I think part of that is just getting perfect traction. And um, it, yeah, the bike was feeling really good. The soil was really good. It was a pretty fun ride. It was pretty awesome. I just wanted to put it out there that I won't be uh, giving away any of the course. So I know I'm working with the club now on the course, but my, my videos won't include any course that we're going to be running. Just putting that out there for those of you who might want to, want to get the upper hand by checking out some course not going to include any of that stuff. So recently I've been working on my merch and I've been hand drawing a lot of the stuff for the merch and so it's taken me probably about six or eight hours to to get some of that done. Um, like the Idaho drawing that took me about eight hours I think and I put way too much detail into it. I'm not sure all the detail will come through when it's printed on a t-shirt but we'll see. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good regardless. So I have set up the merch and the store and all that stuff and I put it in a link in my description. So if you guys want any of the merch, be sure to go over there and I made it pretty easy to, to check out. In the future I think I'm going to do a lot more vague drawings though. Um, on these ones I did really detailed drawings and I zoomed way in and got every single detail of mountain ranges that I like and bodies of water and rivers and um, native flowers, things like that that I didn't necessarily have to include because I made everything so detailed and small that I don't think it will come out in print unless the print is gigantic. So I am running studs on this bike uh, during this ride and it made the bike handle a little bit wonky but it's not it's nothing too bad. Um, for the most part it was it was working pretty good. You just have to use common sense on rocks and things like that but for the most part the bike works pretty good even with studs in it. I've been really impressed with these ones. Um, none of them came out, I don't think, so that's that's even in the desert and going race speed at, at certain points. So um, The only point where it felt really weird is just on rocks, and so, like I said, you just have to use a little common sense there and make sure you're not uh, relying on your traction too heavily. And I will be taking the studs out if I'm going to ride the 450 again in these type of conditions. That way I just preserve my studs and make sure I can use them next year. Uh, right now it's been pretty warm. We've been seeing 40 plus degree temperatures here and so the snow melted pretty quickly and I don't know if we're gonna see too many more big freezes. We might see one more big storm so I'm gonna keep the studs in until I go riding and see just kinda play it by ear. I might even take the Husqvarna out instead of the 450, that way I can preserve a bike that has studs in it. Um, yeah, got to keep on riding, and in order to do that, sometimes you need those studs. Anyways guys, this ride was a lot of fun. I got to ride a uh, 23 350 XCF, and uh, yeah, just had a blast. Anyways guys, I will catch you on the next video. Peace.
Alright guys, I just wanted to give some of my Patreon supporters a shout out. I really appreciate them. Yucky Don't Eat is my newest one. Daniel Rausch, Brian Thomason, Mike Slater, Jason Froling, Jim Jolson Jr., Lance Darnell, Wade James, Kurt Kinghorn, Jared Bauer. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys have helped a huge amount for my channel to grow and to keep making content, and you are appreciated. 